Ladies and gentlemen, Colgate Dental Cream presents the Dennis Day Show, written by Frank Galen, with Sharon Douglas, Paula Winslow, Dink Trout, John Brown, Charles Dant and the Orchestra, yours truly, Vern Smith, and starring our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Twice a day and before every date, use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Here's Dennis to sing My Pretty Girl. My pretty girl, my pretty girl, I'm always dreaming of you. My pretty girl, my pretty girl, my darling, how I love you. Promise me you will never leave me Promise me you will never grieve me Promise me you will not deceive me Oh, my pretty girl Please give me just one kiss One sweet kiss you won't miss For your kiss brings such bliss To my lonely heart My pretty girl, my pretty girl I'm always dreaming of you My pretty girl, my pretty girl My darling, how I love you Promise me you will never leave me Promise me you will never grieve me Promise me you will not deceive me Oh, my pretty girl Okay now, grab your partner Oh, lead him up center and around outside And balance on your corner Oh, swing, oh, swing that pretty little girl And promenade the one that's left behind you me through the night let my arms hold you tight and with dawn's early light let me take you home my pretty girl my pretty girl i'm always dreaming of you my pretty girl my pretty girl my darling how i love you promise me you will never leave me promise me you will never grieve me promise me you will not deceive me oh my pretty girl Promise me you will love me ever Promise me you will leave me never Promise me we'll remain together Oh, my pretty girl Oh, my pretty girl <laughs> Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning your teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in 7 out of 10 cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And use Colgate Dental Cream twice a day and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Well, as you know, our young hero, Dennis Day, works behind the soda fountain of Willoughby's Drugstore in the little community of Weaverville. Now, you'll say it's hardly likely that a small-town soda jerk's name should become a byword in our nation's capital at Washington, D.C. Well, likely or not, that's exactly what's happened. In Washington's National Income Tax Bureau, an excited clerk has just discovered that a perverse fate chose to single out our hero from among the millions. Great Scott, Charlie, look at this. What's the matter? Some guy named Dennis Day sent us $10 to pay his income tax. Only he figured it wrong, and we found we had to refund him some money. How much? $10. Well, what about it? Well, just look at this voucher, man. The check printing machine went crazy. We sent him a check for $100,000. What are we going to do about it, Charlie? Ah, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Charlie, the Democrats aren't here anymore. <laughs> I'm taking the next plane to Weaverville. 
But at the Anderson Boarding House in Weaverville, it's quite apparent that the envelope containing the $100,000 check is not yet in the hands of its young addressee, for we find a most discouraged Dennis talking to his girlfriend, Mildred Anderson. A flop, that's what I am, Mildred. A complete failure. Oh, now, Dennis, don't talk like that. But it's true. Here I am, 22 years old and making only $8 a week. <laughs> well, you have a roof over your head and three good meals a day. There's more to life than just food and shelter, Mildred. There are other things I'd like to have, too, like shoes. <laughs> Maybe if you'd ask Mr. Willoughby for a raise... But you... I did just the other day. I said to him, Mr. Willoughby, why don't you be fair? Pay me what I'm worth. And he refused? Yeah, he said no one could live on less than $8 a week. <laughs> it's no use, Mildred. I'm going to leave Weaverville. That's all. Oh, now, don't say that, Dennis. I know what your whole trouble is. You just don't inspire confidence in people. You... Well, you look so young. Gosh, that isn't my fault, Mildred. It could happen to anybody 22 years old. <laughs> Oh, I know it's not your fault, but we ought to do something about it. Let's think a minute. How can we age you? Age me? Yes. What makes a man look older? Do you know what makes my father look older, for instance? Sure, but I'm not married to her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. But if you looked older, like Good my father... Good morning, Mildred. Good morning, young man. Good morning, Mother. Morning, Mrs. Anderson. Mother Dennis was just telling me how discouraged he is. He wants to leave Weaverville. Yeah, for good. Never come back. That's the way to talk, my boy. Go to it. <laughs> He'll do no such thing. We've decided the only reason he isn't a success is because he looks so young. I've brought in the mail, Pupsy. <laughs> morning, children. Morning, good morning, Father. Mr. Anderson. I'll take those letters, Herbert. Uh, yes, lover girl. <laughs> Oh, here's one for you, Dennis. It's from the Income Tax Bureau in Washington, D.C. Gosh, I hope I'm not in some kind of trouble. Well, come along, Herbert. We have housework to do. Yes, I know. Lead the way, light of my life. <laughs> Golly. I better open this letter and see what it is. Oh, I should say so. Mr. Dennis Day, dear sir... Enclosed, please find check in the amount of $10 covering refund on overpaid income tax. Boy, that's a relief. I thought I was going to go to jail. Oh, well, is the check in it? Yeah, it's down at the bottom of the envelope. There, you see? Just when everything looked darkest, along comes the government and sends you a $10 tax refund. I know, but it's nothing I can depend on every week. <laughs> well, I'd better deposit this at the bank on my way to work. I'll see you tonight, Mildred, huh? All right, Dennis. Oh, oh, here, give Daddy these glasses on your way out. He left them on the table before when... <gasps> Dennis! Huh? My father's glasses, don't you see? Nose glasses with a black silk ribbon. Why, they put 20 years on you. But Mildred, 20... Oh, Dennis, they're just what we've been looking for. Try them on. Well, okay. There, how do I... Mildred, where are you? Come back! <laughs> I haven't moved an inch. It's the glasses. Oh, but Dennis, you have no idea how distinguished they make you look. Can't you see yourself in that mirror on the wall? I can't even see the wall. <laughs> Never mind. Just keep them on when you go down to the bank. Oh, you'll see what a difference it makes in the way people treat you. Gosh, I hope so. Am I pointed in the direction of the bank? Uh-huh. Good. Give me a push. <laughs> And so off our hero went, completely unaware that in his pocket was a check on the United States Treasury for $100,000. Entering the bank, he removed his glasses so he could find the deposit window, then put them back on, took his check out of the envelope, and presented it to the teller. I'd like to deposit this check, please. Where's your deposit slip? Oh, do you need one of those? What I have to go through with these jerks. <laughs> All right, give me the check. Pay to the order of Dennis Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is your check, sir? Yeah, is there anything wrong with it? Oh, no, sir. No, Your Honor. Your worship, sir. <laughs> Gee, for a minute, I didn't think these glasses were going to work. <laughs> would you mind stepping over to our president's office, sir? I'm sure Mr. Courtney would like to take care of you personally. Really? Oh, yes, sir. Naturally, if he'd known you were coming, he'd have called a special meeting of the board of directors. Boy, what glasses! <laughs> Would you wait just a moment? I'll tell Mr. Courtney you're here. 
Mr. Courtney, there's a very important depositor outside, a Mr. Dennis Day. Dennis Day? Never heard of him. What's he look like? An eccentric millionaire. He's wearing pince nez glasses on a black ribbon attached to his sweatshirt. <laughs> he, uh, he wants to deposit this. Well, here, let me see it. Date of the order of Dennis Day. Yipe! Well, don't, don't, don't stand there. Send him right in. Yes, sir. Right this way, Mr. Day. This is Mr. Courtney, our president. It's a privilege to meet you, sir. Glad to meet you, Mr. Courtney. No, no, no. You're shaking the curtain. I'm over here. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, do sit down, Mr. Day. Can I offer you a clear Havana? Oh, no, thanks. I'm not thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So you wish to deposit this check with us, eh? That's right. If I'm not too personal, how did you happen to get a government check of this size? It's a refund on my income tax. <laughs> Merciful heavens, I... Uh, will you be making deposits of this amount often? I guess so. That's about what my weekly salary is. <laughs> Again, uh, will you be making withdrawals too, Mr. Day? Oh, yes, of course. Well, be sure and let us know in time so we can bring up the bank's reserves from New York, eh? Gee, this bank operates with very little cash, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we'll grow, Mr. Day. Uh, by the way, what business are you in? Oh, I'm learning the drug business. Learning. <laughs> I'll bet you're cleaning up plenty for a beginner, eh, Mr. Day? Oh, yes, sir, every morning. <laughs> That's rich you, you, you work in a big chain, I presume Oh, no, sir, my boss trusts me <laughs> I, George, you do have a sense of humor <laughs> Say, I, I hope you won't think I'm too forward, Mr. Day But, well, I've been thinking of taking a little flyer lately How do you like the market? Fine, the food is good and it seems very clean <laughs> Hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Courtney, but I have to get back to the drugstore. I'm awfully late for work. Oh, I quite understand, but would you do one favor for me? Take this along, read it in your spare time, and phone me and tell me what you think about it. What is it? It's a financial statement of the company I'm thinking of buying shares in, the Seattle, San Antonio, and Montreal Railroad. Yes, sir, I'll be glad to. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm terribly grateful. I do want to make a success of my career. Just as you have. Well, there's nothing hard about it. All you need is a pair of these glasses. <laughs> Gosh, I've never been so late to work. Mr. Willoughby's going to be furious. Oh, well, I guess I may as go, well go in and face him. I better put the glasses back on. At least he can't hit me if I'm wearing them. Dennis, my boy, my dear, dear boy. Son! <laughs> Gee, they even work on him. I'm sorry I'm so late, sir. You're talking to the Coca-Cola machine. I'm over here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, that's all right, son. I just had a phone call from my nephew. He's a teller over at the bank. Dennis, my boy, why didn't you tell me? Tell you? Of course. Dennis, I've known all along there was something in that head of yours, but it never occurred to me it might be a brain. A brain? Sure. And here you were all the time living like a poor boy. How did you ever do it? It wasn't so hard on my salary. <laughs> ah, we won't speak of salary anymore, Dennis. From now on, you're going to be my partner in this drugstore. I better get another pair of these glasses in case this pair breaks. <laughs> You see, son, I figure we can really fix this place up for about $5,000. And what's $5,000 to a man like you, huh? <laughs> the same as $500. Yeah, just about. But, Mr. Willoughby... Tut, tut, my boy. Consider yourself a full-fledged partner. Oh, there's a customer coming in. Take off your glasses and wait on him. Partner. You bet I will, partner. You just watch me. Now that I'm a partner, I'll sell him everything in the store. How do you do, sir? Can I serve you, sir? Uh, yes, uh, I just, uh, I just weighed myself on your scale outside. 
It's, uh, it's broken and I'd like my penny back. <laughs> The scale isn't broken, sir. I say it is. It's got a sign on it that says your weight and your fortune for a penny. I got my weight, but the place where the fortune was supposed to be came out blank. <laughs> well, that scale always works, sir. Maybe you've just got no future. <laughs> now, uh, look, uh, I'm not going to argue about it. If you want to get tough, I'll have a lawyer up here in 10 minutes. Gosh, you'd go through all that just for a penny? It isn't the penny. Believe me, I've taken girls out and spent a hundred times that on them. <laughs> it's just that I was dying to have my fortune told. Well, if you'll give me your palm, I'll be very happy to read it for you. That won't do. Now, do I get my penny or don't I? Well, I can't give it to you, sir, but I'll take it up with the company that owns the scale. If you'll fill out this form, you should have your money within a few months. <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm almost tempted to forget the whole thing. Yes, sir. I said almost. <laughs> yes, sir. Could I have your name, please? Uh, the name Benny. Benny what? Uh, Jack. <laughs> uh, Jack Benny. And your address, sir? Care of F.E. Boone, Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'll have them send you the money as quickly as possible. See that you do. Or the next time I weigh myself, somebody else will get my business. <laughs> Good day. Good day, sir. <laughs> Benny. Jack Benny. Gee, that name is awfully familiar. No, it's no use. I can't seem to place him. Courtney actually asked for your advice? Uh-huh, and that isn't all. After I got back from the bank, Mr. Willoughby made me a partner in his drugstore. Oh, golly! All this just from wearing Daddy's glasses. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, put them on quick. Here comes Mother up the walk. Okay, here it comes. The final test. Dennis, my son! My <laughs> own dear sweet son! Now I know they're foolproof. <laughs> Oh, Dennis, I've heard about you from just everyone downtown. I want you to know how proud and happy I am to have you boarding here. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Anderson. Now, about that two weeks' rent I owe oh, you, I... Oh, Dennis, my son. Oh, here, let me take your coat. Okay, but you'll be losing money on the deal. <laughs> I mean to hang up. <laughs> just to hang up, silly boy. <laughs> Oh, Mildred, I'm so proud of him, aren't you? Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, my son. My dear, fine son. Gosh, you too, Mr. Anderson? These are your glasses. Oh, Dennis, I feel like your mother as well as Mildred's. I, I wonder if you'd mind kissing me in a motherly sort of way. Sure, Mrs. Anderson, I'd be glad to. You kissed me, Dennis. Poopsie's over there. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Pardon me, Mr. Anderson. Well, now suppose we all go into the dining room and have... Oh, I wonder who that is. I'll answer it. Yes? How do you do? My name is Elliot. I'm a reporter on the Middletown News. My editor sent me over for an interview with a Mr. Dennis Day. Why, that's me. Good. <laughs> Mr. Day, we understand you just received one of the largest income tax refunds ever given out. I did? Gosh, the government's pretty stingy, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, be that as it may, I'm here to get the story of America's leading drug tycoon. Just how did you get your start in life, Mr. Day? Well, my father called the doctor in the middle of the night and they rushed my... Not that far back! <laughs> uh, we're only interested in your business career, Mr. Day. And by the way, why weren't we able to locate you in Dun and Bradstreet? Oh, that's easy, because I live at 4th and Elm. This interview should make me famous in journalism. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few general questions, Mr. Day? Fire away. <laughs> Believe me, I'd love to. 
What do you think of the high cost of living? Oh, I intend to keep on doing it no matter how high the cost gets. <laughs> Do you mind if I don't quote you on that? Not at all. Thank you. What have you to say on the subject of Russia? It gets very cold there. <laughs> Just the stuff our readers want. <laughs> Anything else on Russia? Well, just that it's good that there is a Russia because there are so many Russians that if there weren't a Russia, where would they all go? Excellent question. <laughs> My editor also wants to know what you think of the Japanese situation. Personally, I think my editor has stones in his head, but here goes. <laughs> what do you know about Japan? Well, Japan is smaller than Russia. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> and it's much warmer and has fewer Russians. <laughs> Scoop after scoop. <laughs> and now to return to the home front. For what reason, I can't imagine. <laughs> How do you feel about labor? I think a person should, unless he's lazy. <laughs> I put it down just as you said it. Well, that concludes one of the most amazing afternoons of my life. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Day, and goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Oh, uh, whereabouts in your newspaper will this interview appear? In our lost and found column. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Who was that, Dennis? Oh, some fellow from a newspaper. I've been interviewed. Oh, Dennis, how wonderful. You'll be famous all over the country. Gee, what do you know? I'll bet that's the newsreels. Oh, I do hope so. Uh, come in. Anybody named Dennis Day live here? Yes, sir, that's me. So you're the fella. I'm from Washington, Mr. Day. I'm sorry, but I do not choose to run. <laughs> I'm from the Income Tax Bureau. I'm here to correct a little mistake. Mistake? Yeah, that tax refund check we sent you for $100,000 was a little off. It should have been for 10 bucks. Oh, so that's it. A mistake. I should have known. Wait a minute. I don't understand. We what? thought you were rich, you idiot. We thought you got an income tax refund of $100,000. Oh, gosh, no. I don't pay that much income tax in two years. <laughs> Dennis Day, you're an imbecile. If you... Gosh, what traffic tonight. Come in. Dennis, my boy, my wonderful boy. Wait, Mr. Courtney, it's all a mistake. Oh, I know that. I've seen the income tax man. But you saved me a fortune today. When you called at noon and said not to buy Seattle, San Antonio, and Montreal, I didn't. And this afternoon, it went down 12 points. Gosh. This $100 is for you, Dennis. And thanks. Oh, Dennis, my dear, sweet son. Oh, I can't get over it. A young man with no financial experience, and he tells me not to touch that stock. How did you know? Why, from that statement I read, Mr. Courtney. The statement? Sure. It said that their assets were $15 million and their liabilities were $15 million. Yes? Why, that darn railroad was just barely breaking even. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just a moment with a song. But first, here's a fact worth knowing. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And just how important that is, our Colgate players are ready to demonstrate. Tonight, as the Colgate curtain goes up, we find a member of the teenage set expressing his opinion of his girlfriend's actions. Jeeps, Julie, what kind of a way is that to act? I date you up and then you spend the whole evening gabbing to Spike on the telephone. Well, I couldn't actually refuse to talk to him, could I? Okay, skip it. But answer me one thing, Pigeon, just one thing. What was the idea of talking to Spike about that dance I'm dragging you to? I didn't actually say I was going with you, Jerry. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, uh, look, I don't get this run around, Julie. Am I suddenly a stupor man or what? Well, Jerry, it's this way. When a boy lets breath trouble kind of sneak up on him, well, I personally feel he ought to ankle on over to his dentist. And here's what Jerry found out. Scientific tests have proved that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate Dental Cream instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, Colgate Dental Cream's safe polishing agent brings out the natural sparkle of your teeth, 
cleans them thoroughly and safely. Yes, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. In fact, nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate Dental Cream is preferred for flavor over other brands tested. So to clean your teeth thoroughly and safely for a wake-up flavor everyone enjoys, use Colgate Dental Cream. Remember, Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. From the Jolson story, here's Dennis Day and Charles Dance's beautiful arrangement of The Anniversary Song. Oh, how we danced on the night we were wed. We Dennis Day can be heard with Jack Benny every Sunday. And be sure and be with us again next week for another Dennis Day program. More songs, more adventures in the life of our star, Dennis Day. Meanwhile, be sure to use Colgate Metal Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.